How to Create a Stacked Area Chart in Google Sheets Introduction to Stacked Area Chart Search for Stacked Area Chart Then select it 1. Select the sheet holding your data 2. Select metric columns 3. Select dimension column Click on the Create Chart button Stacked Area Chart is created successfully how to configure a chart. Stacked area chart data requirements. You need between 1 and 10 columns of numerical data to create a stacked area chart. You have the option to provide a categorical data column. Numerical data definition, it is in the form of numbers and is numeric in nature. It can be counted or measured and can be arranged in a logical order. Numerical data is also called quantitative data. In this video, first, we will create a stacked area chart with five numerical data columns. Later, we will add a categorical data column. Important, stacked area chart will only accept data in columns as shown in the image on the right. Search for stacked area chart. Then select it. Select the sheet holding your data from sheet name dropdown. Note, header row checkbox is checked because data contains header row. Select metric social media. Select metric email marketing. Select metric paid ads. Select metric organic search. Select metric affiliates. You can set row range using the slider or manually set value in start row and end row text boxes. Currently we will select all rows. When all required selections have been made, the Create Chart button will become active. Click on the Create Chart button. Stacked Area Chart is created with five numerical data columns. Now, we will add a categorical data column. This is an optional feature. Categorical data definition. It describes a characteristic or a category of data. It takes on values that are names or labels. Categorical data is also called qualitative data. Select dimension month. Click on the create chart button. The stacked area chart has been successfully created with a categorical data column. How to edit a chart. Click on the Edit Chart button. Click on the Chart Header pen to edit the properties. Then enter the header text. Click on the Apply button. Click on the Axis Left Properties pen to edit the properties. Click on the Grid Lines section to show the grid lines. Click on the Apply All button. Click on the Axis Left Properties pen to edit the properties. Click on the Label Text section to prep end dollar as a prefix to the numbers. Click on the Apply All button. Click on the Legend Properties pen to change the color of the fills. Similarly, change the colors of the other fills. Click on the Save button. How to export a chart. Click on the Export button to export chart in JPG, PNG, SVG, or PDF. The exported chart file will appear in the Downloads folder. How to add a chart to a sheet. Click on the Add Chart to Sheet button to add chart image in sheet. How to install Chart Expo add-on. Click on the Extensions menu. Install Chart Expo add-on, enhance your charting experience with advanced charts. An add-on is software that adds new features into Google Sheets. How to install Chart Expo video is available in iCard, located in top right corner. Video link is also provided in the description below. Please click on More. Once the Chart Expo add-on is installed, it should display an extensions menu. 
Click on the Charts, Graphs, and Visualizations by Chart Expo. Click on Open Submenu. Click on the Add New Chart button. Select a chart from Chart Expo Chart List. We appreciate your business. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our channel.